This fragrance got so hyped up that I had to test it, try it, and here we are today to do the full dedicated review. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are doing a dedicated fragrance review. This is a hyped fragrance. The hype has sort of died down on it because it's not new when actually been doing my research for this video. But the fragrance we are talking about is from the fragrance house. It's a niche house and this is from BDK Parfums. Yes, BDK Parfums and the fragrance we're going to be reviewing is Passe Soir. Yes, Passe Soir. This is one if you haven't heard of any other fragrance, maybe the other one you might have heard of is Grease Chanel, maybe Rue Smoking, but usually it's one of those three. But Passe Soir is the one, in my opinion, that's, that has gotten the most hype. So that's the one I took my most time with, and we're going to get into it. But before we do that, Elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day today. This is a new one. This is a lipstick I got as a freebie on one of my Huda orders. This is a Huda liquid lipstick, and this is the shade Alluring. So liquid matte. It's a ready orange color, and I'll link it below for y'all to check out. I like it. Not too drying, it's nice. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. Oldie but goodie at this point, it seems. Was well, not old, I got it this year. But Bond number no. nine's Greenwich Village. I was missing you in all of my travels and I wanted to wear you. So, hey, Bond number no. nine's Greenwich Village. I already have a dedicated review of this fragrance up on the channel. I have it linked up top so you can check it out at your own leisure. So now let's get into this dedicated review on BDK's Passe Soir. As always, when it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category is mood, and that is how does this fragrance make me feel, and where am I wearing this fragrance to? Second category is strength, and that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being just water in a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear juice that I have to wash and scrub to get it off, and it lasts forever. Third category is longevity, and that is how many hours as long lasted did this scent last on my skin and or clothing and then the fourth category which is very important for a lot of people especially this time of year it's holiday season when i'm filming this is this a compliment getting fragrance and this is one of those fragrances that's been hyped up in that category so we're really going to lean into that discussion in this year video so now you all know how i do videos for the newer elves that are here you know how we do things and yeah Let's talk about BDK's Passe Soir. So it's important to note that this fragrance is not new. It came out in 2016. So this fragrance has been out now over five years at this point, at the time I'm filming this video. So it doesn't classify as a new scent, but the way it got hyped up and talked about in the last year or so, you would think it just came out, which is funny. Fragrance is very interesting like that. It doesn't necessarily take a fragrance being brand, brand new for it to be hyped. Sometimes people rediscover scents and it has a whole like renaissance rebirth it kind of happens so the fragrance came out again 2016 is from the niche house bdk bdk is newer on the scene in my opinion because it's not as readily available in the united states that i would like it to be and as well as compared to other niche brands for example it's not in your lux department stores just yet i know it is in the european market but here like for example it's not in say a sax and I wish it was, so that would be more accessible for a lot more people. So it comes in, let's see, we have two sizes, and this is from the official BDK website that I'm reading this from. We have the 10 milliliter size, and that retails for $45. And then there's the true presentation, the full presentation, which is $190. And it's a 100 ml size bottle. So for a 100 ml size bottle, and this being niche, and it's an older parfum concentration, let me emphasize that. I think that is a very good price point for it to be under $200 and for a hundred mil, yeah. I'm impressed by that. As you all know, previously as well, I did sample this fragrance in a BDK sampling series that I did. So I did sample this fragrance before I purchased it for me to determine that, you know, I think it's worth me purchasing a full bottle. But I must note, I went back and forth with this scent for a minute before I finally took the plunge. So now let's get into the notes of this fragrance. So I'm reading this from my iPad. Official notes, we have top notes are black pepper, ginger, mandarin, and pear. Hard notes, we have Moroccan, jasmine, quince, chutney, orange blossom and then base notes we have cashmerian patchouli of singapore and agar wood so off top i'm getting this is going to be a fruity spicy and the base of that wood fruity woody spicy that's what i'm going to get based off of these notes so that's what we're getting and as always i do 
full presentations when I do dedicated reviews because otherwise a sample is just a first presentation. It's not a real review. So as you all can tell, your girl did get the 100 mil, the full presentation. This is what the box looks like. And it has information on it. It's all in French because BDK is a French brand. Your fragrance comes on the inside, nestled in. So it shipped amazingly. And going back to the whole accessibility thing, this is one of those fragrances you have to purchase from sellers in the niche world. And in my case, I purchased mine from Max Aroma. Max Aroma had a sale. They're one of my favorite people to shop from. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just shop with them a lot. And they had a sale on BDK for like 25% off one day. And I figured, okay, if I'm gonna get past this soir, it's gonna be now. So that's when I purchased it. So yeah, here is the full presentation. Very simple, minimalistic. And it looks nice in my fragrance collection. And the juice, as you can see, is this nice yellowy type of color with the name Passe on it. As always, we revisit the fragrance with a fragrance strip. It sprays it's like an air fresher, in my opinion, because it sprays really light and misty. So it's very nice to put on the skin. You can actually spray this on your clothes and not worry about it being stained. So I will say that too. Whoa. <laughs> Honey. <clears throat> This scent, <laughs> this one is, it, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That peppery, spicy kind of woody situation with that fruit, yeah, it's definitely all up in my nose right now. All right, so now let's get into the rating system with the fragrance. <sighs> Mood, let's talk about this scent. You all, you wanna talk about a feel good perfume? This fragrance just feels good. This perfume, in my opinion, it has a whole vibe of just, you know, life is good. We celebrating, it's up. And like I said, it's holiday season when I'm filming this. I could very much see myself wearing this on New Year's Eve night because it just feels fuzzy and happy, but it has that woodiness, so it has a punch to it. And it's interesting because with it being fruity, it could also go as a summertime scent, but that woodiness and that spiciness in here makes it appropriate for cooler weather. So that's what's intriguing about this scent. This is one of those scents that I also took my time with, like I said at the beginning of the video, because it has layers to it. As you know, I just read all those notes on there. It has a lot of layers to this and it needs time to develop. So I'm intrigued how complex, but happy and a good time of a fragrance this feels. So that is the mood of this. This is a good time. Pop champagne. Now let's talk about strength. <laughs> this has a kick and more importantly, going back to the notes, the black pepper is prominent. That quince note is prominent. Mmm. Mmm. That amber wood in here. Cashmere in too. Okay. Now let's talk about strength. This scent to be this concoction, I give it an eight. It's about an eight because that initial blast is really strong in my opinion. And it does settle down over time. But that initial blast, this is not a weak perfume. And if you are used to more sweeter scents, more fruity sweet versus woody spicy, this ain't for you. I gotta say that right now, because this is definitely not your run of the mill fruity sweet scent. It is not that. <laughs> so strength, I do give it an eight. Now let's talk about longevity. This is one area with this fragrance I've heard people complain about. And personally, in my experience, because I've owned this fragrance for a few months now, and I've experienced it in 100 degree weather, as well as in 30 degree weather, this scent actually performs better in cooler weather because at first in warm weather i give it about a solid four hours but now that it's cooler and that's been the climate i mean i'm talking full-on scarves coats i get eight hours out of this so on the skin it turns into a skin scent about this six hour mark but on my clothes i can still smell it all day so this scent actually hugs fabric in cooler weather and it performs better in cooler weather and i just find it so interesting that everybody talks about it in the warm time of the year i'm like uh-uh, it really shines now that it's cooler. It's really fascinating to me. Mmm, y'all, this is so good. Okay, compliment getting factor. Let's talk about that. You all, I gotta admit, <sighs> the rumors are true, the hype is real. This is a certified head turner, you all. Passe Soir is guaranteed to get you a compliment. I'm talking from whether you are running errands, like my postal lady, she complimented me on it. My mailbox crew, like when I go to my PO box, they have complimented me on it. I've been in a grocery store, head elf has complimented, family has complimented. I have received compliments from all walks of life, all age groups, whenever I wear passe soir. 
certified. It is a certified compliment getter. And if I decide to do a most complimented fragrance video, which I tend to do, I did one last year to round out the year. I think I might do one this year doing Elfmas. We'll see. Yeah, hint, hint, Elfmas is coming. But this would definitely make the list. Passe Soir is a certified compliment getter. It's not gonna smell like everybody else. It's just, it's good. It's just really, really good. I will emphasize again to sample this fragrance first. I did get my samples, like I said it in my sample video. I got mine from So Avant-Garde. They are another niche retailer here on the internet and they sell samples as well. Definitely suggest purchasing samples, decant, have you feel to try this fragrance out before you commit to a full 100 ml bottle because you all know, the elves y'all know, the Santa Maria does not do 100 meals. I don't do those. I do 50, y'all know I'm a 50 meal girl. So if I got over that little quirk of mine, that means the juice is good. So I'm here to tell you, Passoire is that girl. She's it, she's fantastic. And you could just wear her when you just need a mood booster, you wanna feel good, need some uplifting. I highly recommend Passoire. Fantastic fragrance. I'm very pleased with this purchase. I've had it now for a few months and I'm still reaching for it. As I recently talked about, I took it on a trip. I'm still reaching for it. <laughs> it's that good. So, all right. So yeah, that is my take on BDK's Passe Soir. It was my first full bottle purchase from the house. Um, I do have Grease Charnel, so that um, review will be coming up soon. That's a totally different situation, totally different vibe. But yes, Passe Soir is a certified yes and hype worthy. Yes, believe the hype, but still do not blind by. Sample first. <laughs> So as always, else, let me know what you think about this fragrance. Do you like Passe Soir? Have you sampled it? Have you heard about it? What are your thoughts on it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? The elves, y'all are very opinionated and I love it. I read you all's comments. It's, it's a pastime for me at this point. So let me know what you think about the fragrance and do you recommend any other BDK scents that you think I should revisit, take another look at, or add to the collection? Because you know, I'm always intrigued to hear what you all are loving. Let me know. So as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, elves.